Exactly 100 years ago tonight, the president of the U.S. was in San Francisco, and at almost exactly this time, he was dying. Brian Hackney takes us to the room where it all happened. We're here to make a fuss. Warren Harding, you're the man for us. On many lists of our great presidents, Warren Harding often comes in first from the bottom. By the time he ran for president, he was married to Florence King, having an affair with Carrie Phillips, then with teenager Nan Britton, which produced a daughter out of wedlock, and then was elected president by the largest margin in history, while his cabinet got down to being one of the most corrupt ever. Resulting in the Teapot Dome oil scandal, Long story, but the scandalous oil wells in California still produce crude. But none of this was known in the summer of 1923, when he became the first president to visit Alaska, when he began to feel not quite right. They knew that they needed to get him to the biggest city with the best accommodations. San Francisco was the city and the Palace Hotel was the hotel. We are going up to our presidential suite, which is on the eighth floor of the hotel. The sick president was rushed to this room. Welcome to the presidential suite in the Palace Hotel. This is the formal living room with original 1909 Austrian crystal chandeliers with piano, dining room for our guests who stay in the presidential suite. And through these doors, we have the bedroom of the presidential suite where Mr. Harding was a guest and stayed. President Harding was bedridden here for four days with his wife by his side. And over the course of a number of days, he actually started to get better. On August 2nd, she was reading to him, and around 7 p.m. that evening, something happened. She rushed from the room and tried to get help, tried to find a doctor. But unfortunately, at, at around 7.30 p.m., President Harding passed away. The 29th president was dead of a heart attack. His body was brought out from the hotel. Nine million would line the route of his final trip back to Washington. A century later, few remember the scandals, the betrayals, all history. But the palace has its own way of remembering. A small museum that documents all the famous guests, John Kennedy, Eisenhower, Red Skelton, and the Harding Cocktail. We're here to make a fuss. Cheers to Warren. Warren Harding, you're the man for us. Oh, I don't know about his presidency, but that's good. Warren Harding, you're the man for us. Brian Oz adds, interested in a stay in the presidential suite? Well, he says the price starts at 7500 a night. 7500 a night. Hmm. For you historians there.